Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today, we're doing a special video. I'm going to show you guys all of my goodies that I have for diamond painting. I was asked by a couple of people to show my cover minders and my trays and pens and everything I have. So here is the majority of it. This is my diamond painting cover minder tray that I have all of my goodies on. I will kind of go through and show you guys, talk to you guys about what I got. So this and these up here came from um, Cindy's Traveling Crafts. She had an Etsy shop. Oh, plus this squirrely. She had an Etsy shop, but she closed it for some reason or other. I'm not gonna, I don't know what the reason was, but, um, there's a hair on there. These and the squirrel are in the skunk. And I have a couple other ones, but I don't know exactly where they're at. They came from Cindy's sister, Mindy. And then... You have a pick a Pippa package. These two here came from Ash Inks cover minders. The these over here came from uh, Tiny Puffer Fish. This was Drill Pin Frenzy. This over here is Beth Minton's. I absolutely love the popcorn trash tin. She has a crystal ball mm, love it and then she sent me a bone so cute so stinking cute and then look at this this is just absolutely beautiful so this is stuff that she sells brother brian here on youtube um brian diamond painting elliot he made me this and another cover minder this here came from Creative Grammy, or Grandma. It is a stingray. Absolutely beautiful. And then as you get down here to this bottom section, so from here all the way over to here and all the way down, all of this is Shine Shop Designs. I absolutely love Shine Shop Designs, Etsy Shop. Uh, I got a Trapper Dew cover minder. I got some, sorry. I got some acorns, she sent me a fish, a Christmas tree, my trash can, I absolutely love my trash can, my orca, it reminds me of my mom, some skulls, um, this, the peacock quill, that reminds me of my papa, um, no drama y'all, no drama llama, um, so, the special meaning behind the rooster is my grandma. My mom is this, because she passed away of breast cancer. And, and then my mom was the orca. My papa was the, the peacock quill. Um, these, I, I have, have an infatuation with the moon and the stars and the to all of that solar system up there. I just, I just love it. Um, oh, a TSA cover minder inhaler. Oh yeah, gotta have it. I have TSA. Gotta have a TSA inhaler. So this is the majority of my cover minders. I'm missing a couple. I don't know. They may be in my junk bag over here from Kelly Head. Oh. If you guys don't know what a Kelly Head junk bag is, we'll get into that here in just a second. So this is the majority of my cover minders. Oh, I have a Trapper Dew cover minder. So for my Patreons, you guys will get a Trapper Dew cover minder. I went and bought a bunch of cover minders of Trapper. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, Squirrel! Gotta love squirrels. And then this, look at, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, look at the colors of that thing. It's absolutely beautiful. And another moon. Okay, we're done. Enough of that. And then, 
So now we're going to get to trays. So these three trays help. Hold on. Okay. These three trays here. This tray was bought by Sister Cassie. Uh, Cassie Miz here on YouTube. She bought this for me and sent it to me because I kept dropping these trays or I wasn't paying attention and then they would just spill out. So she bought this because it's got the handles. This is my all-time favorite tray. This is usually how I hold it with one finger and just kind of hold it like this. Just give it a little shake. And then I had to buy this for my mom in, in memory of my mom. And then this here actually came with this. And it was a keychain, and I customized it and made it a cover minder. So it reminds me of my mama. And then, of course, I had to have a squirrel. So these are all, these three here are from uh, my 3D designs by Dan. And this tray here has the orange gate. It came from Diamond Painting with Donnie. It's Etsy shop, uh, Drill Pin Frenzy. And my rooster came from Drill Pin Frenzy. So there's that. Um, one of my homegirls here on YouTube, uh, you guys know her as Patriarch Beauty, but I call her Red. She sent me this tray because I didn't have a big tray back at, at the time. Sorry, it keeps going in and out of focus. So I didn't have a big tray at the time she sent me that tray. Will you stay in focus? It's it's the white table. I'm telling you, it's the white table. We'll put that there, so hopefully it'll stay in focus. And then I got these tra two trays soon after. I love the big trays. I wish these had a stopper on them because me not paying attention. I used to always spill these things, you guys. Like, spill them all the time. Like, what am I thinking? Just sitting here jibber jabbering away in a live. The next thing I know, I'm like, shit. I just spilled drills all over my lap. So, and these, I believe these are Archer's Arts. Um, these two pieces here, I won in the Diamond Painter of the Month. Which, if you guys don't know what the Diamond Painter of the Month is, um, one of my sisters here on YouTube, uh, God, I am bad with names lately. DP Adventures with Jennifer. She does a monthly diamond painting or diamond painter of the month. You do not have to be a creator on YouTube. All you have to do is have a love for diamond painting and you can have somebody enter you in to win. I was the first person to win the Diamond Painter of the Month. This is what I got. It is a glow in a dark tray. And she, she sent me the little spout keeper, which is awesome. And then a uh, drill, drill grinder. So if you have diamonds that are stuck together, <laughs> opens. Um, I have my very first order from Archer's Arts. In the process, um, I seen Crafting with Christy, aka my sister Christy. Um, she did the April unboxing of the color of the month for April, and I absolutely loved it. So I went and bought it, and then they messaged me like a week and a half later and said, We're sorry, we ran out of that color. This is what we have to supplement it for. And I said, eh, it's still a teal color. I'll take it. So I got three things coming from them whenever they get here. This is the most awesomest thing I have found. This comes from, um, think Jeremy. Devious Diamonds Etsy shop, I believe it is called. She makes these. It's a 3D printed diamond drill. 
funnel. Um, I bought this funnel a while ago off of AliExpress, and I was like, okay, that's cool. It collapses down, it saves, saves on space, but it's rubber, the diamonds tend to stick to it sometimes, and then I found this, and I was like, oh my god, yes! So there's that, and then I also got this from her, which is a star. Of course it's a star. It has something to do with space. I love it. So this is actually a... It is a multi-placer holder, but it has a diamond or a magnet on the back of it. So you stick it on your painting. Say you're working and you have one pin you use and you want to change it from, what's this, an eight placer and you want to change it to a, a seven placer. Bam, you can have them right there ready to go. And you can go, oh, I want a seven, switch it out, put it back in. That was freaking cool. So I had to have it. Had to have it. So there's that. Um, one of the necessities that I had to have from Drill Pen Frenzy Diamond Painting with Donnie here on YouTube was the mushroom vacuum. This thing has saved my arse numerous times. I absolutely love it. I think she's got it in a mushroom, um, a ladybug, and basically, hold on. I have some diamonds right here. Let's see how it works. gone it left one right there but one and then you undo the bottom part there's all your diamonds and some dog hair i'm guessing whatever i picked up last time had dog hair on it but hey what do you get when you have fur babies running around your craft room all the time and that's part of what my channel name is. I've had a couple people ask, what does my channel name mean? My channel name is named after my fur babies. Um, I'm making a mess. So, I got it back together. I got it cleaned up. That came from Donnie's Etsy shop, Girl Pen Frenzy. Like I was saying, my channel name is JTMJ Crafts. That stands for Jeremy. Come on, phone. Quit. I'm telling you, it's the white. white. That's why it's, I stopped using this white background. So it's Jeremy Trapper Mary Jane. I have a dog named Trapper, and I have a cat named Mary Jane, and I have a frog named Phoenix. I don't think I'm going to change my name of my channel to include... A P into it, but I am going to start doing more videos with my fur babies. Doing probably, I don't know, I'll probably do like a weekly or every other week video and put it up for my Patreons and then everybody else can watch it. Uh, so then we have this Trapper Do pin. I absolutely love this pin. This came from KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pins on Facebook. It has a little doghouse that holds the pin. Oh my god. Yes! I had to have it. Looks just like my baby. And then let's push that back. And I'm going to grab my skull. <sighs> This is where all of my pens that I use on a normal basis. Eh, there's a water, water, water brush. I don't, I don't use that on a normal basis. 
So I got my squirrel pen that Sister Addiction sent me. I got this beautiful pen that Sister Tia and Justin sent me for being a moderator on their channel, which was n not a necessity. Didn't have to do it, but I greatly appreciate it because it is absolutely beautiful. This pen and... Where is my other pen? Ba, ba, ba. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got so many pens! These two pens I got from Drill Pen Frenzy. I like them because they're skinnier pens. If you look at the... For a while, I didn't like the fat pins. I like the skinny pins. But I go back and forth between pins now. And then I got a Trapper Dew pen from Sister Addiction. Absolutely love it. This pen is from Beth Minton's shop. I don't think I showed you guys her cover minders. I think I did, actually. She's got the wrenches, the dog bone, crystal ball, this, and then the popcorn tin. That came from Beth. This came from Diamond Art Club. Absolutely beautiful. This is my pen that I use mostly right now because it's it's just a, uh, my sword. It's an envelope opener. Um, this came from Beth Minton as well. Um, I think... I, somebody it placed an order. I think it was Yvonne. She placed an order and sent them to me. Um, this is a Prismacolor <laughs> shading pencil. I don't know why it's in there, but it is. Uh, these, I got a set of seven of them from Mrs. Coffee. When I first met Mrs. Coffee, come on. You can focus. When I first met Mrs. Coffee, she was making pins and she was making these. And I had to support a sister. And they reminded me of my mom in a way because my mom loved anything dolphins, orcas, anything fish related. Yeah, focus phone. So I got I got seven of these. I bought this the whole completed set. Um, this pin here is my rooster. It's made out of wood. Came from Star Ore. Love it. This pen came from KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pens. It is a bullet. And this pen is very, very special to me. I use it from time to time when I'm single placing. This pen, Mrs. Coffee bought it for me. Thank you, sister. I agree. Greatly appreciate it. I honor this pin every time. People ask me all the time, where did you get that pin? Um, this came from Sister Addiction. It is a two-placer. I haven't used it yet because I just haven't. Um, hey, that's a good five-placer. And this pin came from Sister Addiction. It is a wax pencil, which is awesome. Okay, that's all of those. That off to the side. Now, we're gonna get into some patty wax. So, I originally bought the patty wax vanilla, and she sent me a small sample cube of blueberry. I like patty wax in a single placer. I do not like patty wax in a multi placer. I cannot get the hang of it. It comes out of the multi placer left and right. Just every time I go to use it in a multi placer, it pops out, pops out, pops out, pops out. Everybody's like, oh, you gotta use a new multi placer. I use a brand spanking new four placer. As soon as I go place it on the diamonds, the wax pulls out of it. I'm like, nope, ain't doing it. Then I finally found that she had some super sticky patty wax. This is her new logo, which is absolutely cool looking. Distracted by diamonds. 
her YouTube channel name is Distracted by Diamonds RK. I use this. So, a tip for patty wax SS or regular patty wax. I have a little space heater. It, it's that they, they call it an almond heater, whatever. I take this and I set it in front of the heater for about five minutes. And then I take my pin and I take my pin and I stick it straight down on top of it and I push it in until it hits the plastic area. And then I just take the pin and I twist it and twist this and pull it apart and it fills your pin. That's the way I do it anyways. And then she sent me a cute little frog shaped chunk of chocolate chip cookie. Come on, focus. And then a little chunk of raspberry lemonade. I like patty wax. Like I said, I don't use it in a multi placer because I cannot get the hang of it. My favorite all-time mud as of right now is Nacha Mama's Mud. And you can get it from Beth Minton's Etsy shop, Whimsical Daisies. I absolutely love this mud. Let me pull the lids off. It comes in these cute little clear things. Um, my favorite smell is this one. It is called Through the Woods. Oh my god. Oh my god. It smells so good. And then this one, I haven't, I, that's all I've used out of these since I got them. And this one is Tinseltown. It smells good too. This is my by far my favorite mud of choice right now for a multi-placer. That's the only thing I use in a multi-placer. So, in my Kelly Head junk bag. So, if you guys haven't seen the Kelly Head junk bag, look at this. I messaged her one day and I said, hey, look it. I've seen your bags on your site, your Etsy, blah, 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 blah. But I want some squirrel material. So she went and found squirrel material, showed me two different squirrel materials. I picked out this one, which I'll probably go buy the, the other one whenever she opens back up. I heard she was going through something or other and she wasn't making them right now. But by far, definitely worth it. Look at the detail. It's got inside lining. Look at the look at the stitches in this thing. Like professional, you guys. Professional. So in here I got some bags. I got measuring tape. I got a wood pin. I got this from One Crack Mom. She makes wood pins. Here's some more of my Miss Coffee mermaid pins. Um, some writing pins. You guys want me to see those? Let me see that. This pin. This pin came from Sister Addiction. It's another two placer. And then these pins here came from KK's Unique Diamond Painting pins. They're paracord wrap pins. I asked for one like this and a diamond painting pin. And then she sent me one like this in a regular ballpoint pen, which absolutely love them. Um, this pen, oh, there's another. Oh, it's a single placer. I don't know. Oh, I think I got this from Tiny Puffer Fish. Um, some empty, um, some E6000. It's like the best glue in town. Here is all of my Trapper Custom. Cover minders for my Patreons. So, where is the other pin? Did I just, oh, it's right there. These three pins came from Creative Grammy here on YouTube. 
she said, hey, can I send you some stuff? And I said, sure. So if you guys would like to send me any kind of mail, friend mail, fan mail, whatever, you have to email me or message me on YouTube. Or not YouTube, sorry. YouTube don't have a messenger anymore. Um, Instagram or my Facebook group or actually go to my business page and you could message me straight from there. This pen came from Tiny Pufferfish. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Patty Wax tape measure. I got all kinds of goodies. Tiny Pufferfish. Um, KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pens made this until I broke it. Um... Ow! Those tweezers are sharp! Ouch, Charlie! That really hurt! Poking me with the damn tweezers. These pins here I made myself. Are polymer clay. And then this bag has just got a bunch of stuff in it. This thing right here is absolutely awesome straightener. Of course, I've got pink tweezers from Treasure Studios Art. I got another one of these because when I ordered from Fire Mountain Gems for my diamond paint or my Native American beading stuff, they sent me one in one order and then one in the next order. I don't know why. Um, I got a bag of tips. Um, this I bought off of AliExpress. It's a set of tweezers. I'm missing two out of here, but I think one of these goes in there. And the other pair I have, I use to feed Phoenix. And, I mean, just like a lot of stuff. Just a lot of stuff. These junk bags hold more stuff than I ever would have thought that it would help. So, that is all of my diamond painting necessities that I have had. And just to let you guys know, everybody says di uh, buying... Diamond paintings is an addiction. This right here is an addiction all on its own. Every time I see a new cover minder, I'm like, oh, gotta have it. Oh, gotta have it. I got another cover minder from Shine Like a Diamond. I want it on her, uh, her auction. If you guys don't know what the, what I'm talking about is the auction. She does like a weekly auction on a Facebook group. I'll try to remember to... Um, yeah. Link it down below. I happened to just be watching one of her videos and she talked about it. And I was like, oh, I gotta go check and see what's going on over there. And I go over there and I was like, I have to have this cover minder. It's... It, I've been trying to get it for a couple of times and then when she finally messaged me one time and she says Hey, I got a cover minder in for you if you want it. You can pay for Because I had bid it on it at an auction that she had on her channel And then I I bid it up to like 35 bucks and then she's like I, I'll sell it to you for the price that you bid it for and then I just got done spending like 200 something dollars on a bunch of diamond paintings and other stuff. I was like, I don't have the money right now to buy it. So I finally got it. It'll match these two in a way. It's absolutely beautiful. So yes, she does like a monthly auction. Go check that out. It's to raise money for her daughter to get a new service dog because Maddie needs a service dog. And I have helped out as much as I can possibly help out. I will always help out. 
my fellow YouTube creator sisters as much as possible. So, oh, I didn't even get into the last thing over here. Um, of course, I got a Zyron. I absolutely love this thing. The Diamond Art Club stickers, I'll take them and put them on my photocopy machine. And I'll photocopy them and I'll run them through this because I don't like the stickers from Diamond Art Club. I like the old strips better. Um, then this. It's a camo box. I know. Gotta have camouflage. So, this is specifically my washi tape box. Love, love, love washi tape. I usually section off my canvases. When they're a bigger canvas and they're, they're a, a confetti-filled canvas, I will section it off. But if it's a color-blocking canvas, like this Treasure Studios art that I'm working on, it's got a bunch of color-blocking, color I don't section it off. I'll just pull it up and work it in a big section. So I have some Evermoment washi tapes. I have some Treasure Studios art washi tapes. And then these all came from AliExpress, which I need to order more because I'm getting low stock. I usually try to keep this box full. Love it, love it, love it. So, as you guys see, There is my wood burning machine. All of my Ohuhu markers. Not all of them. My 120 set is not in there. I don't think it's going to fit because everything on this side. No. You cannot fall over. I'll show you guys. Yeah. Um. All these three are here on each side of there are regular Ohuhus, and then all these are brush tips. And then, of course, my other 120 brush tips. My wood burning machine, if you guys didn't see on Instagrams, I wood burned an F bomb. F bomb! And then I have burned a couple other projects. So I will have a video. Friday this week of how to, to uh, a wood burning tutorial. Um, I'm trying to figure out something to burn. I have a bunch of stencils coming. Uh, uh, five or six. I got um, yeah. Squirrel brain just went. Duh! You can't talk anymore. So I have, I have Loot Llama coming from Squirrel, a Shark, a Diamond Stencil, because I want to burn a diamond onto some wood. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think. I don't know, I, I may have, I bought a bunch of stuff this weekend. I don't remember exactly what I was buying. We'll see when it comes in. So... That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my collection of diamond painting goodies. And uh, as always, don't forget to have your peace, your love, Corietta, and respect for one another. Corietta means forever in English, or not in English. Uh, Native American speaking language, I guess you would say. Whatever. I don't know. It's a word I learned a long time ago that's a native word. So, that's it. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And as always, a big shout out to all of my Patreons. Thank you guys all so much for the support. And have a good one, y'all. Bye.